Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. In this video presentation, I'm going to go over a little bit more of the uh, Find Trades features. What you folks have seen in the newsletters is that you can search by a single strategy, you can do the multi-strategies and use the Find Trades. What I'm going to show you is you can also use a little bit more advanced filtering capabilities for finding trades with the Find Trades Plus Plus feature. So again, to get to Find Trades, you go up to the Searchers tab, Hover over multi strategies, and in this case, left click on Find Trades Plus Plus. This video originated because a student emailed into support asking if he or she could create a list finding options that had a delta between 60 and 80 and a cost between 50 and $100. And what I'm going to encourage you all to do is if you have search criteria that you want to know if the tools have the capabilities to search on that criteria, email in we'll email you back how to do that if in fact we can and every once in a while that type of questioning and that dialogue will end up in a training video like this one is here today so i've done the searchers multi-strategies and then find traits plus plus i'm going to encourage you all to create a name for the search right away and then save it because a lot of the times you're going to search and it's going to produce about 50 or 100 option candidates. And then there will be more that you can search on. If you haven't saved this search, it won't allow you to expand your search and complete the number of candidates that it found. So let's just knock out that priority right away and create the search that you want to. So in the name, let's go ahead and type in 60 to 80 delta, uh, 50 to 100 cost and then let's go ahead and click save it will do the save and reset the page and now you see that it is not only in the name but it's also in the selection you'll see that i have another name in here or another search created it says test delta 60 to 80 50 to 100 50 to 100 cost i'll show you how to delete a search at the tail end of this presentation but right now we have a 60 to 80 delta 50 to 100 cost you'll name it whatever you want i'm going to do the search over the pennies and weeklies as it's defaulted there you can change it to any number of lists that you want let's go down below here and let's click on buy call and buy put you can do one or the other but let's just go ahead and knock out the calls and the puts further scrolling down you see other filters and settings that you can do the student asked about a 50 to 100 cost. Well, let's just make sure that the trade cost is no more than 100. So what I did is I clicked in the circle, put the radio button there, changed the $500 uh, category to, or listing to 100. So it's going to be 100 or less. Now let's go over to the strike searches and use the Greeks, the deltas. He wanted greater than a 60 delta. So click on that circle there again for the deltas greater than type in 60 and let's also click on the circle next to the Greek deltas less than and change that to 80. Once you have that done you have the filters at least of what this student asked for and we can go up there now on the penny and weekly list and click on the search. It'll take a few seconds to go through the number of these that are there and it will produce the list for you and I'll show you how to uh, adjust the sorts and how to look at that list once it's produced. But again, folks, let me encourage you while this search is being completed to email into support. If you haven't been able to figure out how to do certain searches, find certain options by different categories and qualifications that you want or that you've learned elsewhere that are viable, email into support at tomgentile.com and we'll take care of you the best that we can. So here is the list. As you'll see that the cost column doesn't have anything that has greater than $100. Now, if you don't want those under 50, you'll just go ahead and click on the ones that are between 50 and 100, and you can create these into a new list if you like. But again, just click on the ones that you want. Don't click on the ones that are under $50. Also, you can click on the Greeks. Now, it doesn't show a column that shows you know what the deltas are, but we want them between 60 and 80. So if you click on the Greeks hyperlink right there at the top of the list, it will add in the columns for the Greeks. And it shows you right now the Delta 67, 69, 60, 
you will find all of these between 60 and 80. Now, why is that a negative? Because that's on a put option. Put deltas are listed as a negative. Call deltas are listed as a positive. Now, that completes how to get that search done. Let's go up and go to searchers. Find trades plus plus one more time. And if you collect, excuse me, if you created one or more searches or you've found that there's a search that you don't use anymore, how do you get rid of these? Let's go ahead and figure out how to get that done. What you're going to do is searchers, multi-strategies. Actually, we're going to go to the saved searches and then saved find trades plus plus. Forgive me, folks. And then your list comes up of your saved searches. You'll click on the delete search for the one that you don't want anymore. I'm going to delete the test one right there and click update. And when this refreshes now, we're going to have just the one list that we want. So again, to reiterate how to do this, you go back to your searchers. And in this time, you're going to go to the saved searchers line item. Left click on the saved find trades plus plus. It'll bring up the list of the multiple searches that you have. You'll click the box to delete the ones you want, update the list, and be left with your master list. Hope you have found that enjoyable and educational, and I'll see you on future videos. Thanks, folks.